This is Witchspace News for Friday the 9th of August 2019 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the Enclave Interstellar Initiative concludes ...in game Galnet is changing focus ...there's a new PvP event community ...an Eagle Racing event is coming to Desiat and there's a Frontier sponsored image competition on Galphoto. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings and community events and if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds are in the description below. And if you've got a piece of elite related community news you'd like us to feature you can email us via the burpit.newsdesk at gmail.com The Enclave Interstellar Initiative concluded this week with the establishment of more planetary bases in the Witchhead Nebula region, a new engineer setting up shop in the disputed zone and a Thargoid bubblehead recipe becoming available to unlock from the tech brokers. Of the starports that were initially established in the nebula one has already been restored to full function and another one is now well on the way. It doesn't look like the starports down there will be offline for long given the current rate of progress. The human settlement in the Witchhead sector appears to be here to stay and it feels like this area is about to become increasingly important going forward. The new engineer in the area Chloe Sedesi is offering upgrades to frameshift drives and thrusters and in a similar vein to the engineers in Colonia her abilities will increase the more her services are utilised. There's also now a tech broker and a material trader in the region suddenly making the witch head sector a lot more self sufficient. It remains to be seen what role the witch head nebula has to play in the ongoing elite narrative. Something tells me it's about to become strategically quite important. Frontier announced on the forums this week that the face of the in-game Galnet newsfeed will be drastically changing. Up until this point Galnet has always reported on a huge amount of material that happens what Frontier refer to as off camera. These stories fleshed out the world and universe of Elite but rarely ever had any real quantifiable and importantly viewable experiences in game that related to them. With the refocus of the Galnet newsfeed it will, in Frontier's words, quote ...concentrate on in-game activity such as interstellar initiatives, the release of new ships and modules and significant narrative developments." Unquote. That's new ships and modules confirmed by the way. Gotcha. Um, I'm not sorry to see the background narrative disappear personally, don't get me wrong. I love that stuff but I was often frustrated that it seemed to tell of huge galaxy affecting events and then failed to reflect them in game. And also it often felt like it could have hinted at things for players to go and investigate in the game but actually rarely if ever did it deliver on those hints and I was personally struggling to see its relevance. I really enjoy the lore and storytelling of the Elite Universe but I'd rather that was reflected in game or I get it from one of the plethora of the incredible Elite novels. With its refocus it does mean that the Galnet feed will now have a direct relevance directing players to things actually in the game but it would also be nice if it reported on community stuff that players do in the game things like distant worlds or the buckyball racing etc. But what are your thoughts? Do you read or listen to Galnet? Are you happy with the refocus or will you miss the added flavour? Sound off in the comments. Sagittarius I is reporting today that the Elite Community Combat Events Discord has set up shop offering a friendly landing site for commanders to stretch their PvP legs. The Discord encourages fair play and has a schedule of curated regular events to suit all tastes including events that are suitable for new pilots looking to earn their PvP wings in a friendly environment. Do go and check them out. There's a link in the description below to the ECCE's Discord server to get you started. Commander Unrealization of the Paradox Discord server is hosting an Eagle Racing event on the 24th of August in the Desiat system and everyone is invited. 
The event starts at 1900 UTC with commanders gathering around the site of Farseer's base on Desiat 6A with racing due to start around 2000 UTC. Bring yourself and your favourite eagle for some serious canyon racing and lots of explosions. And finally the Galphoto astrophotography community is hosting a frontier sponsored competition to gather your pictures of Elite Dangerous Combat. The entries have a chance of being featured on the official Elite Dangerous social media channels and there are prize codes up for grabs for participation. To submit your combat photos get clicking and then head over to the Galphoto Discord server which is linked below. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.